Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. Inspired by the Middle East, as you can see, this video, you cannot manufacture love. Tapping into the heart space, tapping into the truth. Here in the Middle East, things are operating quite differently. And I'm not speaking for every relationship nor every person in the Middle East. But oftentimes, people are marrying through arranged marriages. They are marrying without love without love, giving it a chance, seeing if it works, and then sticking with that person even when you don't even love them, when you're not even feeling that connection, that chemistry. Love is amazing. Love is what beauty is made of. We are supposed to be expressing it to all countries, all people, small, older, younger. Love is endless. Love is not just supposed to be shared with your spouse your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It's supposed to be shared with all. Connecting, communing, uniting, harmonizing with all people. I love so many people, so many people. The little ones, the older ones. Because my heart is open. It's flowing freely so I can express myself. Oftentimes, people's heart chakra is closed closed off for many reasons, how they've been taught or trained in belief systems. A man is supposed to allow the woman to love them. Don't give them love, wait till the woman comes to you. I've been working with people, listening for the feedback, how it is in the Middle East. It's not just about the religion, it's more of the culture, how people are acting, living, and continue to live. You don't date somebody sometimes until you're engaged. And the parents sometimes choose that person in which you date. And sometimes you choose them. But in order to date, you have to get engaged. Throughout the rest of the world outside of the Middle East, we date, we don't get engaged until we know that we want to spend the rest of our life with that person. Why? Because we're in love with them. Love doesn't come around all the time. You don't feel it with just anybody. No, it's a chemistry, it's a connection, it's a feeling. And you cannot control feelings. You can control your head and your brain. And you can talk yourself into a relationship, into a marriage, into a job that doesn't align with you, into relocating to a place that isn't aligning with you. But are we supposed to be living from our hearts or our heads? Ask yourself, do you want to be happy? Do you deserve love? Are you worthy of love? Are you worthy of happiness? Are you worthy and deserving of financial stability if it was? coming back into your heart. You don't choose somebody because they look pretty or they're handsome or they're financially stable. You don't choose somebody because it's time to settle down or we've been dating for five years. Now we should get married. You choose them because you do not want anyone else. You cannot see your life with anybody else. Why? Once again, you are in love. Being in love is not a choice, it is a feeling. Choosing to love, yes, that is a choice. You could choose to love somebody, you could choose to marry them, but are you in love with them? It shows. You could feel it. When a person gets married, when you're at the wedding, you know when the people are in love and you know when they are not, because you could feel love. The energy of love is a frequency, and it palpates through you, in you and around you. And people want to be in that space, be in that aura, be in that energy. I know. Because every day I'm working, I'm cleansing my energy to keep me in alignment with a space of love and light and truth, connecting in to source every day. Not because I'm rehearsing a prayer over and over and over and over, operating from my head. No, I'm actually having a personal relationship with source and God, talking to God, interacting with God, listening to God, asking the questions, saying my gratitudes, asking for direction and guidance and strength and courage and clarity talking to God like I talk to a best friend, showing compassion and love to the children and to the adults. That's right. Even when you watch television here or the movies here, they take out the kissing, the affection, the intimacy. But yet we could watch the fighting, the war, the swearing, the hitting, the screaming, the yelling. That's what's wrong with this world. It's okay to express anger and hate and show war and killing. 
but God forbid we show love and peace and kissing and intimacy. We show it in front of our children. Caress your wife, love your wife, hold her hand. Why can't you do that? Forbidden, I think not. It is not forbidden to show and express love. We need to start showing and expressing love throughout the entire world, to people of all ages. I don't just have feelings of love for my significant other. I also have feelings of love for children of all countries, of all cultures, of all religions. And guess what? I don't even have to speak the same language. And guess what? Emotions and love is being expressed. Me to them and them to me. And I'm not afraid to kiss or hug or hold or touch anybody. That is love, is what everybody needs to express and to share. Not the anger, the hatred, the ye yelling, the fighting, the screaming, the hitting. This world needs to change now. And we're in a space of change. Going from the old world into the new world, the golden age, as I might say. Choose the person who you're in love with. Not because it's time to settle down. Not because you want to have a baby. Not because it's the next step or the next phase. As you could see, I'm not living that life. If I fall in love, yes, I will marry probably. And maybe I will have a child or two. But I'm listening to the heart. I meet with God before I meet with anyone. I commune with God before I commune with anyone. Prayer, to me, is conversations with Source. Meditation is when I open to receive the information that's coming through from Source. Meditation is when you, when you pray, when you talk. Medi prayer is when you pray and you talk. Meditation is when you listen. You listen. You listen to the signs. You listen to what you're hearing inside of you, what you feel, where you're directed, with what you hear, what you think, what you feel. Open up your heart. It's time to start giving and receiving love. To start showing it without shame, without negative beliefs or attachments to that. It's time to think outside the box. It's time to step out of your comfort zones. It's time to break some rules that are meant to be broken because they are not in line with source, with God, with truth, with love, with light. Some rules are meant to be broken and I live by that because I live from my heart. This world needs more renegades, needs more light warriors to fight the battle against the darkness, to fight the anger and the hate. And as we might call in Christianity, well, we could say the devil, the dark sides, the dark forces, the energies of power, control, ego, and fear. Those people who are running this world, who are trying to keep us separated, six feet distance, stopping relationships eventually, the hidden agenda behind the coronavirus, as I spoke about before. People, we need to step out of our heads and start listening to our hearts, asking to see the truth, hear the truth, and then speak the truth and act upon the truth, which is in your heart, as the truth will set you free. Listen to your heart. Move forward with your heart, with all people, with all situations, with all experiences. Don't be afraid to show love and compassion. It's time to let go of the anger and start expressing from our heart. That's all I have to say. The Middle East and the whole world needs to change. I'm not just speaking in regards to the Middle East. We need to show love and affection to all, all everyone, to each other. We need to start living in peace and harmony. And we need to start coming together now more than any time in this world has ever seen. It's time to change the world. And the only way we could change the world is if we always, if we all start tuning in and tapping in to our heart, to our truth and to our light. Don't listen to the rules that don't align with your heart. Don't do that which doesn't feel right to your heart. Don't move forward with a marriage or a job or a relocation because your head is telling you something. It's practical, it's logical. Love is not logical, love is not practical. Love is an emotion and a feeling and you need to listen to that. Signing out, it's Sherry Methling.
with ancient healings around the world.